So we're with Matt Underwood, who has produced a documentary on one of the most fascinating Indians of all time, who a lot of fans today may not know a whole lot about, but he's a great figure in history, Addie Joss. Matt, why Addie Joss? Well, I think because, as you said, he's, a, he's one of the greatest pitchers in the history of Major League Baseball, certainly one of the greatest in Cleveland franchise history, but his story is somewhat unknown. I think people may know the name Abby Joss, they may have heard stories, but they don't know the whole story. And, and as I delve deeper into the research, I found a fascinating character and a fascinating story that I think it's important to try and preserve his legacy so that we don't forget his greatness and we don't forget the contributions he made to Cleveland and to Major League Baseball. Where does Joss rank among the all-time greats? Because obviously when you, when you talk about pitchers, the first name that comes to mind is Bob Feller. But, but Joss has a shorter career, obviously, but just a tremendous Indian over the years. That's why in some, some ways it's hard to quantify how great a pitcher he really was because he only pitched nine years. He died on the eve of what would have been his 10th season in the major leagues at the age of just 31. So he certainly had more years to offer uh, at the time of his death. But when you look at all time, his career earn run average is second only to Ed Walsh uh, in the history of baseball. And so that puts him right up there in some very select company. I don't think there's any doubt that Bob Feller is the greatest Indians pitcher of all time, one of the greatest right-handed pitchers to ever pitch in Major League Baseball. And Bob's statistics are impressive. Even with the years he lost to World War II service time, I think Eddie Joss, had he been able to pitch a full career, uh, his numbers might have been up there with, who knows, definitely some of the all-time greats.